Hey guys, welcome to Jonesy's Quick Tips. I'm Jonesy. Today we're going to be looking at a tip uh, that I find extremely useful when it comes to naming all the different components of my track, whether it be the marker section, the arranger section, or individual um, audio snippets or MIDI files, all that kind of stuff. Up here in the macro toolbar, you'll see a menu called Name. Now this is really just a handy little quick naming thing. So if we want to go through and so we've got a kick drum track down here. We go name, drums, I think it's a kick low. Boom, and there it's renamed it. Very handy if you're loading in um, sample libraries that have long file names. Now, you may already notice that this might look quite different to your version. You might have more of a standard song structure type naming setup where it'll be the markers will have, for example, verse one, verse two, verse three, blah, blah, blah. And also the instrumentation, there'll be a lot more instrumentation there. Now this is all well and good when you're doing standard songs, recording, say you're recording a lot of different instruments. But let's say for example you're like me, who basically lives in the world of dance music, where um, we have some pretty standardized instrumentation and naming structures. Um, most of the time, as far as markers are concerned, we wouldn't really look further than intros and drops. And you know, you might go by slightly different names, but this is basically the outline of how a dance track arrangement works. As far as the instrumentation is concerned, uh, we will have things like sub basses, lead basses, mid basses, and top basses, something you wouldn't normally find in, say, a pop tune. So this all helps with um, your workflow. So, uh, for example, we've already got that intro name there. We go to our next part of the arrangement. We'll go to markers here. Might go to intro two. Go to this. Call it. Uh, Alt, or maybe not Alt in, but maybe drop or something like that. Pre drop, how's that? So, straight away, we've got the right naming criteria for our tune, and we can go about moving these around and um, get an idea of how the tune's working out. Now, how do you do this, you might ask? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we basically go over here to our little spanner edit icon, and we go to edit names, funnily enough. Now, what'll come up is a pretty boring looking text document. Um, but it only has to do a couple of things, and it uses this little asterisk as just a very basic form of code. And what that does is it creates a category. So if we look at this here, we've got a little asterisk and we've got markers. And then this whole line will be a category. So I could name it a whole bunch of things, but in this case, markers will do just fine. And then everything underneath that will be within that category. Now, it really doesn't matter where it is as long as it's got a hierarchy of top to bottom. Um, it can be anywhere, as you can see, this can be anywhere within the sentence. And it won't make any difference to the drop-down menu. It just nicely puts them in place like that. It's very cool, very cool. So if we go back here again to edit names, and let's just say, for example, we'll create a new section. We'll go and create an asterisk. Um, let's go hand perk. I might just capitalize that quickly. Here's another little quick trick too, if you don't already know this. If you highlight this stuff, right click on it, go to transformations, make uppercase, boom, done. So now we have a hand percussion category. So I might just put in claps, uh, finger snaps, etc. Now what I'll do is I'll go back to this edit uh, menu and I'll go reload names and voila if we look at the name section we'll have now a new column called hand percussion and then we have a couple of new names in there. I hope you enjoyed this if you do like it or have any suggestions for any um, other quick tips please let me know uh, don't forget to like it if you like it um, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video all the best.